Hey guys, welcome back to another video. I have previously created a video where I did a Birkin size comparison from size 30, 35, all the way up to size 40, which was a fantabulous fantastic and fabulous and very fun video to film um, that is before I personally received any Birkins or Kelly's and I have um, borrowed my friends Birkins to film the video but it was really nice it was a really fun video to film and I have done size comparisons and also try on shots for all of you guys and today I can finally present you another you know new addition to the size comparison I'm going to be comparing the Birkin size 25 the most desired Birkin as of now and of course there's special editions which we're not talking about this is where you can start the size 20 and I'm sorry the size 25 and another very fun and must-have Birkin which is the Birkin size 30 we are going to show you all of the details from the sides the front the back the top the bottom there is no dead angle so I'm going to be showing you guys via video detail shots so before we get started my player number one is my very own Birkin 25 in Togol Cray color and rose gold hardware and also our new friend here which this belongs to one of my girlfriends Fiona has her Birkin in the size 30 Itang color and gold hardware so here are both Birkins the 30 is on the left and the 25 is on the right and from the top view you can see the different color finish on the leather there are two completely different color families so the one on the left would have the darker gray uh, finish and both of them have the tone on tone stitching as well hardware is gold on the 30 versus um, rose gold on the 25 so these are both of their side profiles I believe they look very very cute and the middle part is where it can be stretched out and in terms of leather I feel like you can see some stretch mark on the cray where on the Birkin 30 you don't see too much of it I love the tone on tone stitching it looks very uniformed and very clean but obviously proportions are the main difference between um, the two so these are the bottom of both bags so both bags come with four feet it's supporting the bag from touching the ground so obviously don't overstuff your bag for some reason the light color shows the texture a little bit more now i have loosened both bags and they're open you can see they immediately look a little bit different than when they are more cinched in so the opening of both bags are both ideal because you can stretch out to the max if you need to there's no restriction from the opening and i would say the 30 is definitely big enough to contain the 25 inside so i did a little stacking there the finally the hardware difference between the two are more obvious if i compare it this way because you can see on the right side rose gold tone pops out more on the white and if I don't tell you maybe it's a little bit harder to see in the video so obviously it is a forever question which Birkin you should first choose I mean if we rule out of certain elements for example the desirability and how hard it is and how much money you have to spend to getting one and just comparing in terms of sizes I would say the size 25 is something that is more um, not something you must have in your collection right away because it is smaller and I hear a lot of us or a lot of ladies complaining about the short opening over here around like the handlebars and honestly for me I don't have the smallest wrist on the planet compared to the other ladies I have more of a regular wrist so I think the most that it goes is kind of like my mid arm and this doesn't make a very comfortable like way of wearing this bag so most of the time I either hand hold my bag once it's loosened up or I just kind of hold it like this which is very impractical because you're kind of like squeezing the leather and for some of us who really want to take good care of their bags it's not the most recommended way of wearing it so I would say maybe size 25 doesn't have to be the first one to start your collection necessarily but it's sure a sweet one to have because she's really sporty and she is all kinds of fun and not too big 
in my opinion, I think size 25 is the perfect size for me. And then we have size 30 over here, which I think is what everybody most desired for. And when people are talking about Birkins, they're mostly referring to the Birkin size 30. And as you can see, right now she's all dressed up, meaning all of her buckles are in place and everything. She looks really proper and she is dressy. So if you're choosing a Birkin, if you want something that is a little bit more dressier than normal, then definitely go with a colored hardware. This one is gold hardware, which I don't see gold hardware with a tang very often. Um, as I as the a lot as a lot of the references that I have seen are um, eating and palladium hardware which this is really a personal choice and also depending on the stock of the moment from your store um, it really kind of makes that slight difference between dressy and casual and I also think size 30 is the perfect bag if you don't want to hold on to it all the time you can also wear it on your wrist I mean look how far this can go it can go above my little elbow over here and obviously that's not a way to wear it and it doesn't go all the way up but this makes that perfect size and also if you just look at how practical the bag is it honestly can fit so many things as I've showed you guys in the video footage but I'm going to open her up one more time and also the little extender here kind of um, feels much softer compared to the 25 and I believe proportion wise that one is also just shorter so it's also more stiff and voila if you just want to open your Birkin up and wear it it doesn't get any more cooler than holding a Birkin 30 like this and I strongly recommend you guys using an organizer just because I know bags are made for use and everything but if you can take good care of it um, I don't know I still very much enjoy good condition of my luxury items so I think investing a really good handbag organizer is important and in the case of 30 if you have a lot of Birkins to rotate through or if you don't um, having a bag organizer really is very convenient to just toss in everything that you previously organized into your bag so this bag honestly is a perfect on the go and also wearable and usable bag if you're a lady who needs a statement handbag in my opinion I think the size 30 is going to be the more overall winner because it is more reasonable in terms of price points um, even though the price points between them retail wise really don't have a big gap but the size 30 can bring you a lot more functionalities when it comes down to traveling and also practicality also easy to match with wardrobe etc so the benefits goes on and relatively Birkin 30 is easier slightly easier to obtain than the size 25 at least as of right now and I know there was a Birkin craze for size 35 and up and that maybe we'll see in that trend again but 30 lies perfectly within the size arrangements that Birkin um, line offers so I would say maybe choose the Birkin size 30 as your very first Birkin as it is very practical and it's just beautiful to own isn't it and the neutral color really truly goes with everything so that is my two cents on the size comparisons Woo, that was fun there was a lot of preparations always happening behind putting together a video I hope I'm really able to show you guys the difference between the two in sizes and what they look like on do you have a favorite let me know in the comment section below because I know it's very hard to choose from size 25 and size 30 besides how hard we can get them on hand. So let me know in the comment section below and if you have any other questions or if you like more content like this, make sure you subscribe to the channel and give this video a thumbs up as it really supports the channel and I look forward to seeing you on the next one. Take care guys. Bye. <laughs> Tô